Well, first of all, thank you both very much indeed for taking the time to come and talk to us. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Let's start off with the, the gender gap in uh, mathematics. First of all, is there a gender gap in mathematics? Yes, <laughs> there is a gender gap in mathematics. So, of course, the first uh, number is to look at the proportion of, of women, uh, you know, who are professional in mathematics, and women getting a PhD in mathematics, and more or less the situation now is, of course, a little different uh, depending on the country, but it's more or less one quarter, I mean, 25% of, uh, of women uh, in, a, in the population of, of mathematicians. But that's, that's a striking set of statistics, isn't yeah. it, that, that I would find quite shocking in yeah. 2018. And, and I have to ask you, why is that? I would like to say that um, the tradition um, of women in mathematics, women have been able to do mathematics, been able to produce mathematics, but they have been sort of excluded from the professional element. And this has a long history. It's kind of culturally been culturally embedded for the last 200 years, really, where we've seen women who have made real contributions, but they have been excluded from, say, for example, fellowships of the Royal Society, something like that, or um, positions within mathematical societies where they've been welcomed as members, but within the organizations. And I think it's important to look at the history and to see where these challenges have arisen because we still see those today and I think it's really helpful to, to look at that and um, the, the situation isn't as simple I think um, uh, Marie-Francoise will, will tell us I think about the, the, the way that women, the, the progression for women hasn't been a linear progression through history so um, yeah, well, for example, at ICM, now it's about 15% uh, of the lecturers, so it means we have like 200 people lecturing at uh, ICM, and uh, 30 of them are, are women. This year in, uh, in Rio, it was the same more or less in Seoul uh, last time. But uh, if you look through history, it's very recent, only after the 90s that it happened, say, beginning of the 21st century, in fact, it didn't happen in the 20th century. And, and what's even more striking that, uh, for example, in the 30s, in 32, there was a reasonably high proportion of women, and then it dropped very much during the pre-World War and post-World War period, which has, of course, some historical reasons we, we are not going to, to discuss now. But we, we, we need to, to understand that there is no linear progress in the proportion of women. And I think some, some actions, some initiatives have to be taken, either by committees, like for example, we have this uh, IMU Committee for Women in Mathematics, but also inside the regular panels of IMU, that we need women and we need people who are aware of this, uh, say, unconscious bias, which is telling you that finally you tend to prefer a man, maybe even women prefer men, you know, that men seem always more, uh, have more qualities to, 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 to fill the, the requirements. My final question would be, when we meet in four years' time, how optimistic are you going to be that we've made progress? <laughs> so that's very difficult to, very difficult to say, in fact. We, we, what we know that there will be no, no kind of spontaneous progress. We need to find the ways, like for example, if we want to avoid seeing again eight prizes given by IMU with no woman, which I think is really shocking. I mean, I can understand that there are no field medals, but you know, there are all these combinations of prizes. But each committee is independent and they, they work on scientific grounds. So I think one really important thing is for people to think of nominating women, to identify them, to make the effort of presenting them uh, well, because maybe they are too modest to, to think of themselves as, as models, and, uh, and to, to work in this uh, direction. But you, and you, need to, you need to do it smartly. I mean, you cannot tell a, a scientific committee, uh, please take a woman this time. I mean, it makes no sense, yeah. you know. So we, we, we really need to, to do it in a, yeah. working together with people, not yeah. only, you know, just... Uh, uh, Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, mean, I, I would completely in, endorse what Mary Francois says. I mean, I think the fact, that, I mean, we understand and we recognize that women are more reluctant, shall I say, to put themselves forward 
Um, and so and it's not only they're more likely to put themselves forward, it kind of translates into putting other women forward. Um, and, and I think this is, this is an area where we've now kind of acknowledged and recognised that and, and somewhere where I hope we can actually make progress um, and maybe the next ICM we will see a difference. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. Well, both, thank okay. you very much indeed for joining us today. Really appreciate your time, so thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. ICM TV is brought to you from the 2018 International Congress of Mathematicians in Brazil. So for more like this, click on some of these great videos and don't forget to subscribe for more from the best in science, from everything from mathematics to physics, geophysics and engineering.